Hey there, Rocketeers. It is Charlie Rocket here. I have been having a serious issue with recording for the past couple days, but you know what? Don't care, okay? I am recording, recording, I can speak English, two videos today because I didn't record. Well, I had to re record my Tip Tuesday, whatever. And now I'm recording a message on Wednesday, which is primarily for women but i'm sure everybody can learn from this but i am speaking pretty specifically to women because that's who typically have this issue and who i want to talk to i don't care i don't care i don't have to explain myself nice for what okay anywho um so recently i've been talking about being the best version of yourself and i talked about confidence in my tip tuesday video and and being in love with yourself finding love within yourself and being a little more self-confident and so that kind of feeds into this next topic i didn't want to rant too much on it in my first video so i'm doing it now um, but self-confidence is something that us ladies really struggle with a lot um, because we have a lot of pressure to be a certain way. We have a lot of pressure to be perfect and we have a lot of pressure to look a certain way. Um, and I was just recently talking to a friend about how it's basically a lose-lose scenario. It's you If you dress modestly, then you're you're like stuck up or you're like too, too modest. And then if you uh, wear a lot of makeup or like don't wear as much clothes then suddenly you're like a slut or people have these version, versions of you in their mind. Um, like if what you wear dictates who you are. Um, moms don't even get me started with how moms have to look a certain way but if you're wearing like sweatpants and stuff suddenly you've let yourself go if your face is not fully beat every single day you've let yourself go but let you wear anything that's like above the knee or oh my god my neck is showing then you're doing too much and it's too much you have children you're supposed to be modest like think of the ridiculously hard time they gave beyonce for wearing a leotard because she's a mom and because she's a role model to kids and because blah blah she is a grown woman and an entertainer surprise um, she's allowed to do what the F she wants to do, as are all women. We're not telling men, hey, throw your shirt back on, sir. Your nips are out. Like, <laughs> real life, guys are running around with nothing on and no one cares. No one. No one cares at all. Like, I digress. Because of that, we are held to these high standards. Moms, we're supposed to be able to do every single thing. And I know that dads, you guys get a bad rap because nobody expects that much from you. So then when you're doing stuff, it's really annoying when people are like, look at dad doing things, booka, booka, booka. But imagine if every single time you forgot the tiniest of things that everyone's going to say you failed in this as a mom imagine that whereas you guys don't have many expectations on you and that's pretty annoying but having the highest of expectations on you and then people looking down at you because your kids like socks don't match or because they just barfed all over their clothes and it's been two seconds so you haven't been able to change it yet and that's of course when everybody suddenly sees your child or it's laundry day, so you put them in an old shirt that's slightly the wrong color. Or they have a stain on it because they're a child and you're to blame, even if you're not around. Think about that. As a mom, I think I'm held accountable for how my house looks, how my kids look, how my husband looks, how I look, how my life is. Like, I'm held accountable for those things. As a man... If I was a man, people would come to my house and just be like, 
that's that's on your wife. <laughs> like that's how I feel, and realistically, that's in the back of people's minds a lot. Like that's because of old stereotypes and old gender roles. That's what we have on us. And then on top of the gender thing, then there's the race thing and blah, blah, blah. There's just a lot on us. So ladies were constantly expected to look a certain way. Not only that, we're supposed to be skinny, but you're not just supposed to be skinny and keep your stomach toned. You're also supposed to somehow have curves at the same time and somehow control that. They want you to be busty, but not too busty and not fake busty. You have to naturally somehow be busty and pray to Jesus that he just gives you the tatas. Otherwise, you're just all in the wrong place. Not only that, you gotta have hips and you gotta keep the waist snatched. Like, how are we supposed to look like this? I don't understand. I, 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 I don't know. Okay, guys, I don't know. Meanwhile, guys are over here wearing Lord knows what, body looking like I don't know. And like, according to every sitcom on TV, that's what's allowed. You gotta have a smoking hot wife who does all the chores and takes care of all the kids and knows the schedules and knows every little PTA event that's going on and chit chats with the other moms that they hate. We have to do all those things. Meanwhile, daddy-o over here, chilling on the couch watching sports or some mess. I don't know. We don't do that in my house. But chilling on the couch, uh, hard i don't know like he goes to work i guess i don't know and then comes home and watches tv and waits for the food to go in his mouth side note that's not what takes place at my house but these are the things that society is okay with these are the things that as women we're expected to do and the bar for men is down here we're up here and it's horrible the expectations so because of that a lot of us end up having the issue where the grass is greener on the other side we're seeing these women thriving in their life and we think oh my gosh what if I was thriving what if my tatas look like that what if my body looked like that girls what if I made perfect lunches for my kids like she does what if I took my kids literally everywhere with me and I was the perfect mom? What if we went to Disney World? What if my hair was that long or that short or that perfect? What if I look like that magazine? What if I ain't in all these things? Oh my gosh. What if I did all of the above because all of the above is what's expected of me? And so we're constantly going in our head about how we're not as good as the next girl. And because of that, we're building jealousy and envy and all these things to where we now don't like that girl because she's everything we're not she's everything we're not and she's everything i should be you know and a lot of us women we're comparing ourselves to these women and we're hating each other we're tearing each other down and then because of that people make jokes about cat fights and being catty and women gossip all the time but the reason why women are like that is because society has made us like that they've created this narrative where we all hate each other and we fed into it because we didn't have much of a choice and you know what right now in 2018 where people are saying no 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 this is what happened to me and that's also what happened to this girl and now we are coming together or these are my feelings oh those are your feelings also and we are becoming comfortable in our skin we are becoming comfortable in our circumstances in our situations in our grief and we are coming together and realizing how similar we all are and realizing that a lot of these issues that we have and a lot of these insecurities we have are shared with other women. Um, and because of that, we're getting closer. Um, we're getting closer to each other. And we're starting to build each other up. And you know what? That is what we start. We need to start doing. And this is how our self-confidence is building. Because we can stop being 
stop being offended by another woman's success. We can stop looking at someone's success and seeing it as our downfall because we were all meant to thrive in different things. We are not meant to be the same people. Um, so I can look at a queen over there and she is slaying for the gods. And I can tell her, girl, you are slaying for the gods. That face is beat. That hair is done. Girl, I don't even know how to do any of the things that you are doing right now, but you are doing them. And that's what I do. I vocalize it. I message these people. I don't even know them half the time. And I say, girl, <laughs> get into it. You are giving me straight life. I let people know they are an inspiration to me when they are. I let people know when they make me laugh when they do. I let people know when I say, you make me want to be better at this because you don't know how broken that person is. You don't know how that person could be looking at your success thinking the same thing. I'm not as good as her. There's always someone you're like, I'm not as good as that girl. So my uh, little, hey girl, love your shirt. You get into it. Or that color looks good on you, girl. I try to say a nice thing to like every woman that I see. <laughs> Find something nice to say to every woman that I see because all of us are going through the same stuff. We all have the same weight on our shoulders to be perfect, to be whatever, size two, size zero, whatever. I was a size zero. Let me tell y'all, I was a size double zero for probably a majority of my life through at least half of college. But did I have any curves whatsoever? No, I did not. And I looked like a skeleton. And let me tell you, as skinny as I was, and I could like fit whatever and blah, 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 ain't nobody was checking for me. Because you have to have everything somehow. And whatever. Let me tell you about how skinny does not matter. And my body right now is like the epitome of how I wanted my body. <laughs> <laughs> at any point in time and it took two children to do that it was nothing uh workouts or whatever else I had to have children to get this body and now I have children so then that's the other thing that like people are like well uh but now you can't show your body because you have children blah blah, blah. it's like whenever you are this close they'd be like nah take it back the whole woman is gone throw her in the trash like she <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you anywho but it's important that we raise each other up we lift each other up because we are building ourselves as well when we do that um I don't know I was talking to my friend about it just the other day we were venting we were going off about it and she was talking about how it's important to keep the people around who are positive and who encourage you to be you and who reminds you that you are awesome and that you're beautiful in your skin and you are beautiful as a human and you are beautiful as a person. And she uh, actually called it a circle jerk of love, which I am probably going to say for the rest of my life, but um, only in select uh, circles. <laughs> But um, I thought it was amazing and uh, shout out to her. But uh, that's what's important. We got to keep around the people who love us for who we are. And we have to remember to lift other women, encourage other women, and remember that their success is not our failure. Those, those don't. They have nothing to do with one another. Just help each other to both succeed. And that was my wonderful message for Wednesday. I hope you guys have a lovely Wednesday. I hope you have a lovely week. Sorry to bombard you with two videos today, but you love it. I don't care, whatever. Take it or leave it. I'm leaving it, okay? So, whatever. Hopefully, I will see you tomorrow with a comic book Thursday. Hope you guys have a lovely week. Adios.